Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what I think the top 10 rares uh, these in Prodigy are, so let's get into the video. Alright, so before we start, I have to say that I am not going to be including epics in this, like OG epics or mythical epics, because they're not really buddies, they're also pets, and anyone with membership can get them, so they're not even that rare, and the... OG epics, you can't really get a good count on how many people have it or a good estimate. Because in a way, they aren't really that rare because anyone can get them. And then I'm not, I'm also not including buddies that you could only get with hacks. Um, I'm not talking about some buddies that you can only get with hacks now. I'm talking about a few select buddies that were supposed to be originally released as morph marbles and then. Like, the Alien Joyride isn't supposed to be a buddy, so I'm not going to be including that. Swarm of Bat up here is not supposed to be a buddy either, so we're not including that. And then, uh, Surfing Kitty is not supposed to be a buddy, so we're not including that either. But yeah, let's get on to what I think the top 10 are. So at number 10, I have the Camouflage Chameleon, which used to be obtainable from the Coliseum Arena. It was in the... Uh, it was actually not in the Coliseum one, it was in the Harmony Island when I got them mixed up, but it is was in the Arc of Light Arena season, which was the first one. And the reason this one was rare is because you had to get membership to get it, and you needed, like, over a thousand uh, points to get it. And I completely forgot to show you what it looks like. Here it is right here. It's actually really cool. I never really realized that, but it is it does look really cool. So at the number nine spot, we have the Rainbow Butterfly. This was another buddy that you would get from the Arc of Light Arena season. It is more rare than the uh, chameleon one because it actually, or it costs more points, so it's obviously going to be rarer. This one also you needed membership to get it, so that's another reason why it is rarer. And as I said, it costs more points. And then at number eight we have the cool main line, which is also part of the Arc of Light Arena season. It, this one looks really cool. So, this one also was more expensive than the Butterfly, and it too costed membership. At number 7, I have the Tasmanian Tiger, which used to be obtainable in the Harmony Island. Now, you had to be on the back part of Harmony Island, like in uh, levels 4 through 6, I'm pretty sure, to be able to get this. And here's what it looks like, it looks pretty cool. And not only did you have to get pretty far in Harmony Island, you also, it was really hard to get from the wheel. I'm pretty sure it took like 10 hours for me to get it from the wheel. So it is pretty rare. And at number six, I have the Ruin Rabbit, which is right here. This is another one that you could obtain from Harmony Islands. This one, also was in the back end of Harmony Island in the 4 through 6 levels. It was also very hard to get from the sort of like wheel, sort of like slots. But I do remember it being harder to get than the Tasmanian Tiger, but I would assume that they're both probably equally as hard to get when they were in the game. So yeah, on to number 5, I have the Sparkle Snup. Now, you might be thinking that's a bit high for it, or a bit low for it, because it is very rare to get. It's like 1 in a 1,000 out of um, normal chest in Crystal Caverns. More like 1 in a 100, maybe 1 in 300 at most in a member chest. I've been trying to get some recently and have not had good luck. But the reason I don't have it as high is because there are four pets that are four buddies that are found that are a lot rarer than it. So at number four we have the mini masked menace, which was obtainable in a uh, like a daily or a weekly quest update sort of. 
it was a beta update, so not everyone had it. And, like, I don't really know anyone that actually did get it. But here it is right here. Uh, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Up next, we have Stripey, which is a cat. And this was another one that was obtainable in that beta update for the weekly challenges. So, and I haven't seen as many people talk about this one as being rare as the Mini Masked Menace. Which is why I believe that it's probably rarer. And by the way, that beta update does not exist anymore. So, at number two, I have the Bookworm, which is right here. This was obtainable for a beta update in the Academy. It doesn't exist anymore. This was like one of the rewards that you'd get for just going to the Academy. And maybe you get it out of doing one of these C prizes. So it would have been one of these, as you can see doesn't exist anymore. It was a beta update, so not everyone had the chance to get it. So that is why it is very rare. And then at the number one spot, we have the Snow Ermine, which is unobtainable. Here it is right here. It looks very cool, but as I said, it is unobtainable. It was apparently obtainable for a little bit in like the start of Crystal Caverns. Or it might have been a year after Crystal Caverns came out. On the description it says they can be found in the crates and piles of Crystal Caverns. I was going to try and do a video trying to find one. But they don't actually. They can't actually be found in the crates and snow piles of Crystal Caverns. Because I asked Prodigy support and they said that it did not exist. I don't really know why they got rid of it because there's not really any reason to check the crates and snow piles unless their snow ermine is obtainable. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and